Hello everyone, welcome to Scardia.com. This is Dr. Sana Khan with another exciting lecture for you guys, which is about the liver section. In today's uh, lecture, we'll be talking about the general principles for the liver section, and we'll be talking about the incisions of which we actually need for a proper exposure. Because for the liver section, which is important is, uh, is, the ex is a proper exposure of the liver. So for the proper exposure of the liver, a proper incision should be made, like the thoracic abdominal incisions, or right upper transfers uh, uh, incision extending to the midline. And in the, another incision which can be used is uh, uh, you know, the right subcoastal extending to the xephoid process and extending to the left hypochondrium as well. We'll be talking in today's lecture about the, uh, about the type of the incisions and uh, uh, which incision should be made for a proper exposure of the liver. Then we'll be talking about mobilization of the liver. We know that the liver is being connected uh, to different structures which are uh, located within within the abdomen uh, through different kinds of the ligament. What are those ligaments and why uh, need to, uh, to resect or we need to divide these ligaments? We'll be talking about that in detail. Then we'll be talking about the dissection of the hilum and what important structures which are actually gaining entry into the liver. And then their division uh, into the branches supplying the right lobe of the liver independently and the left lobe of the liver independently. We'll be talking in detail about how to proceed for the dissection at the hilum of the liver. Then we'll be talking about the division of the parenchyma, what surgical strategies and what surgical aspirators can be used for the parenchymal division. We'll be talking in detail about uh, the profuse blood supply of the liver, which can lead to the massive, uh, massive bleed coming out of the liver. Then we'll be talking about the the uh, important uh, maneuvers which can be used for the control of the bleeding. We'll be talking about different types of the resections, like um, resections in the anatomical planes and the resections in the non-anatomical planes. And especially in the non-anatomical planes, we'll be talking about the vitro sections. We'll be talking about uh, right to the left to hepatectomy and the segmentectomy and the lipectomies as well. And in which conditions you need to go for the hepatectomy or you need to go for the segmentectomy. Then we'll be talking about the laparoscopic liver sections as well. We'll be talking about the prerequisite for the for the uh, for the liver resection, especially uh, controlling the CVP pressures and the and the help of the anesthesiologist for the restriction of the fluids and for the use of the uh, venodilator, especially and uh, spe special techniques like the organ being uh, coagulators and the antifibrinolytic drugs. And then we'll be talking about the use of the uh, top topical fibrin glue and the collagen impregnated collagen fleas and we'll be talking about the prindle maneuvers. What is the significance of the prindle maneuvers? What is uh, the foramen Wenslow and why this is so much important and how you can get the proximal control of the vessel. And then we'll be talking about different ablations, right? The ra radio frequency ablations and their role in, in, in the metastatic lesions or the malignant lesions and how uh, surgery is superior to those radio frequency ablations. Then, and then we'll be talking about some of the benign lesions of the tumor, especially the hemangiomas, which are, very, which are common, but uh, it's a kind of incidental finding and when you need to resect the hemangioma and when not. Not. Then we'll be talking about the hepatic adenomas, their features, their uh, age group, and especially what is the role of the oral contraceptive pulse for the development of the hepatic adenomas. Then we'll be talking about uh, the malignant potential which is being associated with the hepatic adenomas. Then we'll be talking about their treatment, especially the surgical resection depending uh, upon their size. And then we'll be talking about a little bit about the focal nodular hyperplasia. We have got uh, other lectures on our site, which is cardia.com. You can always go there, get access, and and uh, enjoy our lectures. For the detailed lecture, keep watching scadia.com with Dr. Sanaka.